up to you. It's NASCAR 2011, the game. I'm glad they clarified that, because you don't want to accidentally end up with NASCAR 2011, the massage, which is just downright creepy. So if you're looking for this one, buy the one that says the game on it, because that's what it is. It's a video game, and prior to playing this one, the only NASCAR drivers I was really familiar with were Cole Trickle, Ricky Bobby, and Luke Skywalker. But now, there's a new NASCAR driver who I will be following passionately. Disco Star Slayer. He's been called reckless. He's been called insane. He's been called dope, down, and dirty. And he continues to win with his unique, creative driving style. Claiming victory time after time in the Atarex 5201 car, number zero, powered by Vectrex. Come on, no pressure now. Settle in, buddy. You've got to hand it to them. If nothing else, this game has great crashes. Actually, you know what the best feature of this game is? Seriously, is the audio. If you're playing this one in surround sound with a subwoofer, you'll feel like you're in the car. The soundtrack has been mixed very bass heavy. The cars have a really throaty sound to them and the directional effects are perfect. Also, the crowd noises and radio chatter are stellar. And it has ZZ Top in the soundtrack. I, that, that's like major points right there. Okay, we're halfway there. I'd have preferred they use legs or sharp dressed man, but still, any ZZ Top is good. They could not possibly have done a better job with the audio in this game. Nice right there, buddy. They tucked in. Now, it took me a while to find it, but you can remove the irritating brake warning indicator from the screen. It's at the bottom of the HUD menu settings. Is there a setting to lock onto targets and blow them up with missiles? There's just way too much crap up on screen in this game, which gets in the way of what I would consider its primary function, which is the racing. It's a good, fun, well-made arcade-style driving game, but it is aimed at the NASCAR family crowd and not necessarily the hardcore racing video game enthusiast. I don't want to slow down, it's a racing game. The whole point is to drive like a maniac. It should be encouraging you to drive faster. Speed up, it causes an awesome accident. So just go into the menus and turn everything off. Alright, you got the momentum. It's time to pass. If you like driving games, and if you like NASCAR in particular, you'll probably be very pleased with this one. It's actually very similar to NASCAR 09, even though it's from a completely different developer and publisher. No longer from EA Sports, NASCAR 2011 is developed by Eutechnics and published by Activision. It's more streamlined and straightforward than the previous installment, it looks a lot better, and the controls and handling are relatively similar. Drafting is still an essential, critical part of the game since there's not that many road courses, there's a few in here. But for the most part, you'll be either in the lead, which is extremely boring, or following behind a bunch of other cars trying to draft them and then pass them. You are able to turn off the draft indicator things, and as you probably have noticed, there's a variety of different camera perspectives and an excellent cockpit view. As I think this is a more approachable game, it's extremely easy at first. You, you literally have to turn off all of the assistance controls and make the difficulty very hard for this game to put up any fight at all, if you're used to playing a lot of driving games like I am. And uh, as, as a driving game fan, I can say this one is fun, but it needs to be played at the hardest level. Unless you're buying this game for your eight-year-old, in which case they'll probably enjoy it just 
the way it comes default. As you win races, you earn experience points, and as you play through the season, you unlock different challenge events. Admittedly, I don't follow NASCAR, but if you're really into the sport, you can choose your favorite driver and play through the full length of the season. You can run the entire length of the races with tire wear on or off, refueling, pit stops, damage on or off. The game is very customizable. And like every other sports game out there, you can also shorten the length of the events. Instead of driving all the laps, you can just drive 10. As you see on screen, since the Atarx 5201 car is not real in the real sense, although it is in my mind, you can design your own paint scheme, design your own logos. The custom paint tools are similar to what you'll find in the Forza games, but not quite as good. NASCAR 2011 runs extremely smoothly unless there's cars exploding all over the screen, in which case you'll have some slowdown. It has multiplayer options. We're watching the PlayStation 3 version. This is also on Xbox 360 and the Wii. But surprisingly, not the Vectrex or Atari X5201. I guess that much Atari X5201 would make the universe implode. There's only so much reality can handle. The game is fun. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but fans of NASCAR should enjoy this one. NASCAR 2011, the game, not the fish sandwich, although that is excellent with some tartar sauce. Car down low. Clear, clear. Still up high. Coming low. 